Here's how to take a goal, and I mean any goal, and bring it to reality. And this is based on the teachings of Neville Goddard. All right, let's say you've been imagining your desire every single day for hours. You're fully committed, but still, nothing. So what's up with that? Here's why. And understanding this will make all the difference, you guys. So listen up. Neville says that the great tragedy of this world is this. Perpetual construction, deferred occupancy. Now, what the heck does that mean? It means that you can know what you want and you can visualize it and build and build and build, imagining all freaking day and never occupy it. You never move into the state and make it yours. In other words, you're just daydreaming, which is not enough. Remember, consciousness is the only reality, the only reality. And we live and move through different states. Okay, there's an infinite number of them. For instance, there's a state of health the state of wealth, the state of poverty and sickness, etc. And whatever state you're in, not the state you think about, the state you're in, the one you occupy, that's what manifests. Simple as that. You see, there's a huge difference between thinking of your desire and thinking from your desire. Because when you're thinking of your desire, you're just seeing an image, right? Like a sketch in your mind's eye. But when you're thinking from your desire, you're going through the image. It's surrounding you and you're viewing the world from there. For example, let's say right now you're in Los Angeles physically and you want to go to New York City. So you close your eyes to the room surrounding you and then you assume that you're in New York City. Question, would you still see Los Angeles around you? Of course not, dude. Of course not. If you did, you wouldn't be in New York City, right? Because if you truly occupy the state of consciousness of being in New York City, then anyone you think of in Los Angeles must be where? 3,000 miles away to the west of you. You can't think of them as just being down the street. Nah, you'd see them relative to New York City because you've occupied the place where you want to be, which will then compel you in its own strange way to end up there. Seriously, this is how it works. You'll always go physically to the subjective state you've occupied. Always. You don't believe it? Try this. Shoot, I've done this many times throughout the years. You know what I'm saying? With things that I wanted to buy, places I wanted to visit, my money goals, you name it. Folks, any state you desire, regardless of what it is, is waiting for occupancy. All you gotta do is enter it and remain there straight up. You want a better job? Nothing wrong with that. You want perfect health or to be happily married? Okay, know what you want and ask yourself, what would it be like if it were true that I'm now the person I want to be, that I now have whatever it is I want to have? What would I say? What would I hear? How would I act? How would my friends see me? Create a scene implying its fulfillment and then occupy the state. Quietly go within and begin to think and say and do those things inwardly, seeing. Touching, tasting, smelling, and hearing, giving it all the tones of reality to the point that when you open your eyes, you'll be shocked you're not physically there because it felt so stinking real. Then you know you did it correctly. And then here's what's going to happen Neville says that when you least expect it, you're going to walk across a bridge of incident, some series of events that, if persisted in, will take you to where you are now physically, to where you were in imagination. It'll be pushed out. Because you get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to help support this channel and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and, of course, spread this message. If you're new to LOA or manifesting, then go register for my free online training that will seriously help you to start creating the life you really want right now. So check it out. Link's in the description. Like I always say, more is coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.